And he took us to this like trap house, basically. We go in there. There's like jewelry all over the sofas. There's like these like girls sitting on the floor like crackheads. It looks like some Breaking Bad type stuff. Like we go to like a bad neighborhood. Um, I didn't even think about any of that. Yeah, Jose Guapo. Dude, we just pulled up to the hood one day, bro. Complete fucking hood. Yeah, well, I don't know why. Like, bro, I look back on it. That was not like a safe area. <laughs> Absolutely not, bro. Especially on the worst thing when everyone's outside. Yeah, that was that was definitely not a safe area. Like, if you look at the picture I sent, there's like hella yeah. people there, like all these kids and everything. I guess there's kids around, so it's like totally fine. But yeah, it was. I mean, it's not, it's not horrible. It was chill. It's actually not. It was straight, but like, cause it was a good day. You know, it's not like you're like around like a bunch of gay members. You're around a bunch of families and shit. But it's definitely not a safe area. Like, I like, wasn't making The picture that you got of me in that one, I'm sending it yeah. right now. All right, those, these are some pretty hard photos. That's, like, like, there's people around. It seemed like a pretty safe... I The, the weird thing is, is, I didn't... I wasn't thinking about this back then. Like, I felt no danger back then. Dude, that's the thing. When we were walking around in Atlanta, I felt no danger. Yeah, I felt... N Nothing, nothing. I felt like nothing could harm me. I felt invincible. Remember when we were eight and we would walk from Centennial to CNN? Like, oh, think of my ourselves God. as eight year olds. Dude, my what goodness, the fuck dude. Were we, we could have got kidnapped. We could have got kidnapped. <laughs> dude, we literally could have been trafficked, bro. <laughs> dude, we had too much trust in that land. We like, walking it coming. through traffic. <laughs> we were walking on the roads. We were jaywalking while there's like heavy Atlanta traffic on there. Like, these guys dude, don't how do we know how fucking to drive. get back? Dude, how did our parents even find us, bro? None of us had phones then. We just went to the yeah, CNN. Dude, that's so go. weird. Yeah, how the fuck did they find us? I guess people managed How did we then. find them? Wait, yo, how did they find us during partnership walk? Yeah, that's bro? weird because there's thousands of people. Like, how yeah, would they find dude. you? That's going to be impossible. Dude, that's so funny to think about. Like, I guess you just get lucky and find them. That's the thing. You just get Every lucky year? and find them. Yeah. yeah, every single Dude, year. Because that's what happened. Like, I, I remember one year, like, they couldn't find me, and then I found my dad in, like, the silent auction place, and then I found them after that. But then you it's like, I guess, just I guess like, you just got lucky, them. like, every year. Like, this sort of, that kind of thing happened, like, every year. No, we would walk Dude. around and try to find them because, you know, they would be chilling in one spot, you know? They're not fucking walking around. They're just chilling in one area. Dude, Fraz, remember that one time we were at Kane and my mom, like, took my phone or something, so you and I hid, like, behind the dumpster while they were trying to find me? <laughs> Dude, stop. And, then, and then my mom found me and she was so mad and Afraz was like, Afraz was like a real one, bro. He was like, oh, you shouldn't have taken his phone. <laughs> and I'm like, that's my fucking boy, dude. Dude, that's actually fucking goaded, bro. You were like, I you know, stood bro. up for him. 